Good morning to you. We start this half hour downtown at the Riverwalk. That's right. Over 30 million people visit the Alamo City each year, and our city draws a global crowd. However, what about those of us who actually live here? Visit San Antonio is gearing up for the summer tourism crowd, offering a free concert every month. And as our Patty Santos reports, the vision is to keep downtown San Antonio fresh and lively, not only for tourists, but also for those of us who live here. Summer is something really important for San Antonio. With more than 50,000 hotel rooms available, Visit San Antonio wants to make sure every room is booked year round. We're adding more content and we have an even funner destination for the summertime for people to come and visit and for locals to enjoy. Andres Muñoz, Chief Marketing Officer for Visit San Antonio says this spring break season, hotel occupancy for March 2024 saw a slight increase compared to March of last year, but it was the week of the eclipse, a one-time event which saw a 163% increase in occupancy. Historically, having good momentum during the spring break adds great momentum to the summer, so we hope it pays off during the summertime period. This week, Visit SA launches the next big project to boost tourism and make sure the Riverwalk stays fresh. It's Thursday. The appointment is here at the Arneson Theater, May 16, 630, to see Jack Ingram live for free. Riverwalk Live is a new series that brings live music performances to the Arneson Theater for free every third Thursday of the month. We want to add visitation, not only of locals, but also visitors who understand that the Riverwalk is a really unique place. And if you have entertainment in the Riverwalk, we know that they will come. Performances for the rest of the summer include Angel White and Tristan Morez. And here's why it matters to keep the river walk lively. This is the jewel of the city. And each year, the city of San Antonio gets millions of dollars from hotel tax revenue and other uh, venues here uh, to, that go right back into our community. Now, a lot of the viewers here are saying the cost of parking is keeping people away. But I know that on Tuesdays, uh, you can come have dinner and you don't have to pay for parking. And also that happens on Sunday. So guys, what do you think? Should we bring have dinner next Tuesday here? Absolutely. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, for me, it's more convenient because I live close to downtown, but yes. And I go. would make the trip. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Well, we want to hear from you this morning. Scan the QR code you're about to screen. There, there, see on your screen. Or go to ksat.com slash poll and let us know. So what do you think keeps locals away from going downtown for events, uh, especially Riverwalk events, more often? Well, is it a lack that of free events out there or is it a lack of the because of the cost of parking or is there not enough to do? Are there just too many people? So you can vote at KSAT.com slash poll right now and you can see the results in real time and looks like the overwhelming <laughs> number parking. right there is parking. And uh, I, Mark and I agree. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the slash is there for a reason. It's both a lack of mm -hmm. and the cost and the of cost parking. Of We've parking. already been talking about that this morning and yeah. apparently we're right on track.